world. Welcome back. Jessica Kirsch here. I'm here today at Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall in Scottsdale, Arizona. Lots of traffic going by. It's a busy day. It's Friday, October 9th, 2020. I'm headed in to the Solo, S-O-L-O, -O, publicly traded company, Solo made by Electrica Mechanica, a company based in Vancouver, Canada. A mask up. Here you go. This is Valet at Scottsdale Fashion Square. It's where all the expensive cars park. I don't know why I'm whispering. Love an escalator. Making moves. Ooh, it's so bright in here. Let's see the outside. I found it. I want to stand next to it because I'm 5'10 and in heels, I'm probably almost six feet. Hey world, Jessica Kirsch here. I am here today at the Solo car in Scottsdale Fashion Square. Um, I have one of the sales rep, his name is Caleb. He's right over here and he's gonna be just giving me some information on the vehicle. It is a three-wheeled vehicle. It is fully electric. The range is 100 miles Correct. at the moment. It has a horsepower of 53. 53 horsepower, okay. Zero to 60 in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, okay. So it's not for you speed demons out there, but that's okay. Um, it's one seat, it's got three wheels, it's got a, a so, very small storage space in the trunk. Um, but I'm just gonna take a look around, maybe ask Caleb some questions and uh, let you know what I think. My first impression is it's very low to the ground. is 6'8". I've sat down 6'11". I kind of hugged the windshield like it was a toy car once. <laughs> That's just something that happened six once. 6'11"? Oh my god. Yeah. It does favor those longer legs. Mm -hmm. you know? Should be able to switch out for preferred video. Back in. This thing is cool. I mean, it really is. I've got plenty of room to stretch my legs. I've got long legs. There's seat belt. Safety first, never takes a vacation. And it's nice and spacious for my arms. And, you know, rest my hands here, put my hands up here. Does the seat move? Yes. Four-way adjustable. 
four way. So you can slide it back and forth and you can also recline it. What? Um, it's nice though. I think that it's nice that there's a cup holder. Uh, this is the, the front latch. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a frunk? There's no frunk. Okay. Mostly it's going to be your maintenance, so your basic fluids. Okay. So windshield wiper, what else does it need? Windshield, brakes, fluid, sorry, the coolant. Coolant. Uh, brake fluid and then which are yeah. so, okay. And then it's cool for its engine? Cool for the batteries because the batteries in these silver panels right here. Oh, they are! Okay. And how big is the battery? 17.3 kilowatt hour. Okay, so tell me what that means to somebody um, who doesn't know anything about kilowatts or kilowatts. kilowatts. So kilowatt hours is just basic amperage. Okay. I don't know the exact translation from that out to volts or anything. Okay. But That's roughly, fair. it's about like four phone batteries smashed into one and made more efficient for a car. Okay, all right. And uh, can it commercially be charged? Not commercial. Can it be charged anywhere yeah. at a charge point? Two mm twenties -hmm. um, or one tenths. Two twenties or one tenths. Two twenties so, is going to be a dryer plug at home or an everyday charging station. Okay. One tenths can be an everyday house outlet. Okay. So um, did you hear that? It can be plugged in. Uh, into an everyday house outlet, like a three prong, mm -hmm. and then the, or a 220, which is what Tesla uses for their charging. Mm -hmm. Same as the Nissan or the Chevy hybrid stations. Okay. Um, same as the, okay. So, how fast does it charge on a 220? 220 is going to be two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. And the range is 100 one, miles. 100 miles. So, okay. So, right now it's at 91% charge. Yes. So, is there any kind of service that will be provided? There will be roadside mechanics that can get out to you. Mm -hmm. the, phone, the vehicle will come with that roadside app that will run diagnostics if anything goes wrong. Okay. We'll have our mobile mechanics come out, service you. Daily service would just be the tires or the body. This is the same body repair as a Corvette. Okay. okay. It does have that fiberglass body. Fiberglass. Okay. There's a light here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it really is it's more spacious than you would think from the outside. Right. Um, the air conditioning, it gets pretty cold. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Uh, what's this button? Is that for the trunk? Sorry? Is this the trunk right here? Yeah. Okay. It's got automatic mirrors. Mm -hmm. They're about twice the size of standard motorcycle mirrors. Oh, okay. Zero blind spots. Wow. Huh. And do you happen to know why there was no glass put in the back? It's a false window because when you're centered in the vehicle, there's not much to look at directly behind you. Oh, Because you do have your cargo space there too. That's why the backup camera's there. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. This would be really cool if it had like a Tesla roof where you could see out. Oh, but yeah. then it would take, the, it would be Take distracted. some of the safety weight because you have your roll cage embedded there. Oh, yeah, right. So you got, uh, there's no airbags? No airbags because it does register and insure as a motorcycle. In the United States? Yes. Okay. Um, I read on the website that in Canada it's, it's a car, it yes. registers as a vehicle. Yeah. It's We're in the gray line where it's called an auto cycle. Auto cycle, okay. Um, let's see, what size tires? Yeah, it's two 15 inches for the front and a 16 inch for the back. Okay. And hmm. so if I, and does it come with a, a charging cable? Yes. yes. It will come with a charging case, but with the cable and the adapter between 110 and 220. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so I'm here inside the vehicle and I just want to point out some of my favorite things. Um, I really appreciate that there's both sides these um, air conditioning vents, they spin, that's nice. It, it, it really, it seems like it would be efficient. I do like that there's a cup holder here too. That's, that is a added benefit. Uh, it looks like there are in-panel, door panel speakers down here. Right there, and then also right here. Yes. Okay. So you could be, you know, a sound system for this vehicle. That's pretty cool. The key is like my my Jetta key, which I love, which does that, which is really fun it for is, yeah. anybody who enjoys fun. Um, but it's got the lock, unlock, drum. So that's pretty cool. 
in the logo. Okay, so I'm inside of the vehicle and I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door. Here we go. Okay, I'm inside of the vehicle. Ah, uh, it's quiet. This is the dash. Let me scooch back here. Here's my legs. Let's see. Drive. There's a backup camera right there. That's pretty cool. It's got blinkers. I actually, I like this. I like this vehicle. I, I could see myself uh, cruising the highway in this. And uh, yeah, it feels very low to the ground, but it's really not bad. So my friend, Jay, who suggested I come see this, asked me what side I'm gonna get out on. I'm getting out on the right. I'd like to see the front, if possible. Yeah. Ooh, okay, all right. So I did see an earlier revision. It must have been because there was like a, a small little frunk space. There was, originally, yeah. Okay. The vehicle, 200 parts. What? Okay. So lightweight. Oh my gosh. It's okay if I shut it? Yeah. So this is the front headlight. Do you guys have a fun name for it yet? No. Not necessarily. That laptop case right there is where the charging oh. cable comes in. Right. Yeah. It just unzips. It has a rubber stopper on it. And there's a lever. That's so cute. And when I say cute, I mean practical. It's got, you know, there's no no extra bells and whistles. It's just very simplistic, minimal. I think that's great. Minimalistic European brought to America. Yes. There we go. That created in Canada. Yes. It has that European flair to it. Definitely. So your current markets for distribu uh, distribution in the United States are here, Phoenix, yes. Los Angeles, and Portland. And then we recently opened up San Diego. They recently opened up San Diego as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. So Los Angeles and San Diego. Mm -hmm. Very cool. We're looking to open a second location here in Arizona as well. Woo, that's very exciting.